Happy Vlogmas, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. It's Janet, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content, and make sure that you're hitting that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. And if you're one of my returning subscribers, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited, so excited to be doing Vlogmas this year, you guys. I have a lot of great ideas. I have a lot of holiday recipes that I will be sharing with you during the month of December. Like I mentioned, I wanna do a couple challenges with my family members, so hopefully that'll all pan through, but I am going to be sharing a lot of like inside daily routine of my life, just, just because it is Vlogmas, and I feel like Vlogmas is kind of a time to get to know your favorite YouTuber better um, and just to add an inside view on our everyday life because we are recording every day instead of just maybe like, I usually upload four days a week. So in those times, I usually have recipes. I plan out my whole month. I plan out my videos, but Vlogmas, I have ideas written down in my phone just in case one day I just have nothing going on, but I do have ideas, but for the most part, it's just gonna be on the fly. So you will see like my everyday life. You're going to see lots of my family. You will see more of Jimmy uh, probably next week. We are still doing the finishing with our butchering and finishing all of that up now that hunting is completely done. But I'm excited for Vlogmas and what I'm most excited for is my cheese advent calendar. Let me guys, let me show you. All right, this is my cheese advent calendar that I got probably about a week ago. I got it at Sobeys here in Canada, um, but I am so excited to bust this thing open. And let me just show you the inside. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. They probably have repeats because um, there is just so many of the cheeses that they have. So this is kind of like a close up. You can see like the dates and then um, kind of the perforation where you gotta like, you know, like it's an advent calendar. It's an advent calendar for adults who are on keto. <laughs> so I'm excited for that. I'm not gonna do this right now, but I will do this later on when I get home because it is 8.25 right now. I am getting ready for work. I work today from nine until 5.30, so I'll take you along with me. I'll probably show you my lunch, which is, it's just leftovers, I'll be honest. Um, but right now I'm actually just getting started with a slow cooker. I'm going to um, actually put a moose roast in the, in the slow cooker today. So one of our friends had come down, I had mentioned the elk hunt. Uh, it's an, al actually it is an elk reduction hunt that is located here on CFB Suffield and they have it every year and they have it over the course of like eight weeks. There's four weeks in November and there's four weeks in January for the elk reduction hunt. So one of our friends from Edmonton have, had come down a couple weeks ago, I guess for the hunt and he had brought us a a big bag of moose meat which I'm so excited I haven't had moose in probably like 15 years it was even before I actually met Jimmy that I've had moose now moose is very very much like beef I want to say it's probably the most like beef I get a lot of questions on if our meat tastes gamey Ours does not taste gamey. Jimmy is really, really good at butchering, so he leaves it hang for about a week. He does the cuts for butchering, and it tastes really, really good. The key for venison, though, is to cook it low and slow. So most of our roasts I actually do in the slow cooker. Our steaks we do pan fry and just keep it on a really low heat. And uh, But it honestly, like we've been having it, our whole family, the girls included, even since they were younger, we have been living off of venison probably for about 10 years. That is all we have year round is venison. It's either deer, elk, we don't get much moose. We never apply for a moose tag because there just isn't a lot of moose down in our area. But we live off of venison all year round. We may buy a couple beef steaks um, just because sometimes we just like to have a good old beef steak. We're from Alberta, we have that AAA beef and it is so good. But today I'm gonna throw it in the slow cooker so let me show you how I quickly make that. All right, so I have, de I have defrosted the mousse uh, roast in the fridge overnight. So I'm just gonna put this in my slow cooker. All right, so the good thing about moose is that I find like it has more fat on it than elk and deer, so that's what makes it really um, like beef. Okay, but for my, um, what I'm gonna put in here, I usually use this as a marinade, but I do like it as just like flavoring, so I'm just gonna put some Worcestershire sauce in with that. I put it all over my meat. Now, 
Obviously this will work with any meat. It doesn't need to be venison. I would make my beef roast like this if we did have beef. Um, this is uh, soy sauce. Now I usually use, um, if it was just myself and I'm making something just specifically for me, I would be using my liquid aminos. But since this is for me and the family, I'm just gonna use the regular soy sauce. Then I'm gonna add a packet of on juice. So this is just like the package that I get. It's fairly low in carbs for like a quarter of the package, it's two carbs. I find it just adds a lot of flavor. Now you can use some uh, beef broth as well too, but what I normally do is I just spread this all over top of my roast. And then I'll put my seasonings on it. I use my Montreal steak seasoning. And some Redmond's real salt as well. And some of the Redmond's uh, garlic pepper. I absolutely I absolutely love this stuff. If you haven't gotten your hands on some, I highly recommend ordering some. Next time I'm gonna order the big containers of the seasoning salt and of the garlic pepper. It is so good. So we're just gonna put that on there. And then also I'm going to add about a half a cup of water to this whole mixture. All right, and then we're just gonna add the water. There we go, and that is it. That is pretty much all I do for my meat. Um, like I said, for all venison, it's definitely important to cook it on low and slow. So that is why I use a slow cooker a lot of the time, like for my uh, venison roast. But uh, definitely, obviously, I love using the slow cooker. Um, I have done a few videos on slow cooker recipes. I plan on doing one as well this month. I have a lot of great ideas and easy, easy meals and appetizers that I'll be sharing with you. So I sometimes just rub the seasonings on it as well too, on the exposed area, just so that all of the flavors get mixed on there and it's on, all evenly on there. And that is it, and then I will keep this on low, and Jimmy will be home around four o'clock, so like I said, it is 8.30 in the morning, so he will be able to turn it off when he gets home, and then that supper will be done. I just have to think about a side dish. All right, so supper is on the go, and I'm gonna head off to work, but I will be sure to let you know what I'm having for lunch today, and I will see you guys in the next clip. A little after one o'clock. I have been busy today. I work in a post office, so it gets really busy this time of year. So I'm just about to have my first meal. I will show you what it is. It's just leftovers. It's really nothing exciting, but it is so good. So I am having some leftover beef steak and I made that um, cauliflower, that buffalo mac and cheese is what it's called. And it's just kind of cauliflower um, with some hot sauce, cream cheese. It's a recipe from Freezer Fit. So if you guys signed up for Freezer Fit with their huge sale that they had over Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you will be able to get that recipe. And I'm also going to try these. Um, I had gotten these in a little grocery haul. Um, I don't know, probably a few days ago. I think it was last week sometime, but I'm gonna have a little bit of those and I will let you know what I think of them. Let's give these a try. They are called Ener Energies and they're pretty much just cheese. The flavor that I got is cheddar with garlic. This is them, they're kind of like a puff. I actually like these. These I think are better than like the other cheese ones that they have. I forget what the other names are called. But I prefer these ones. I think it's just like the texture. They're not as hard as the other ones like in crunchy. They're kind of like a puff. Really, really good. All right, so it is almost four o'clock. I work until 5.30. I haven't had anything else more to eat. The only thing I had was uh, Sprite Zero. 
and that is it so i will see you guys when i get home and hopefully that moose roast will be all done i'm going to text jimmy actually right now to turn it off because i wanted to cook it on low for about eight to ten hours so i think it'll be perfect and then we'll just have to figure out a side when we get home plus i am going to make a dessert that you guys will want to stick around for so i will see you guys once i get home I am back home from work and I wanted to show you guys the other t-shirt. In my last video, I would have showed you some of the merch that I'm thinking about in the new year, but I wanted to show you the other shirt that I had made. All right, some of you would have remembered maybe in one video, um, Jimmy being Jimmy, um, I was actually doing uh, some testing done on like the, uh, I was testing my ketones is what I was doing. And Jimmy was, you know, of course mocking me like he does. And he made the comment that he felt ketosis. So I had a shirt made up of Jimmy's saying that I feel ketosis. So I'm kind of on the fence about this. Like I love it because I know what it means and I thought it was really, really funny at the time, right? But this is another idea that I had. I definitely have a few more ideas. These were only the two that I got printed, but a subscriber had mentioned that she would prefer it in a darker color and I totally agree because I already got the Mind Over Matter sweater. I got blueberry sauce on it because I had those waffles. I was doing so good and then the fork like hit the counter and plopped right on my shirt. So I would totally agree with you. I would prefer these probably in like a black or a gray and then have the I Feel Katosi in like a white. And then it has my uh, logo on the back in the middle as well. So this is just something that I've been playing with. So this is just something that I've been playing with. I do want to do it maybe in the new year. So um, I just wanted to show you this other shirt because I think it's pretty cute. And if you would have seen that video, you guys would have seen the comment that Jimmy made. I will try to find a clip. I don't think I have that clip anymore, but it was it was really, really funny. So I thought that was really, really cute. All right. I am going to be making a side dish soon because Jimmy had turned off the slow cooker because I do have the mousse roast in the slow cooker. But first I'm going to make my dessert because I do have to put it in the oven and I've wanted to try these for a while. I finally ended up getting some of the Lily's chocolate chips at my local Nutters is what we have kind of on the western side of Canada here. Uh, but these are the semi-sweet. I usually do get the milk chocolate ones but I will need these to make the recipe and I'm going to be making making low carb love I am making her two ingredient brownies so excited super easy I will have the uh, recipe linked in my description the YouTube video that she makes it I love her channel I love all of her recipes and I thought that this would be a super easy kind of like kind of festive maybe something easy that you can throw together if companies coming over and you have desserts for everybody else and nothing for you you can quickly put this together. So let's get started. All right, so first we will need the Lily's chocolate chips and we will need 11 ounces. I'm just gonna use my measuring cup here. I do have a, like a digital scale, but it's unfortunately it's out in the workshop because we were packaging up our meat. So we use that to make sure that we get like about a pound and a half of ground. So I'm just gonna use this and measure out. It might just be the whole package here is what I'm thinking. Let's see. This just says in grams. All right, so there is about 11 ounces. So we are gonna put that just in a microwave safe bowl. I'm going to melt this in the microwave. Feel free, you guys can do it in a double broiler. I'm just gonna put it in the microwave for probably 30 seconds at a time, giving it a stir in between. All right, so I did it a total of 60 seconds and I stirred it about at the 30 second mark. So I'm just gonna set this aside and then we are going to work on our... All right, I also um, preset the oven to 350. And then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna whisk all the eggs until they're frothy and you will need six room temperature eggs. And then we are just going to put our melted chocolate in with the eggs and then give it a good stir. Alright, this is going to 
going to be my supper. I have the moose roast. Jimmy had a taste, said it's really, really good. And I made some cauliflower rice for the side. I mixed it with a little bit of cream cheese, sour cream, and some shredded cheese as well. And then I sauteed some zucchini and some fresh mushrooms in some bacon fat. I always keep bacon fat in the fridge. And then of course I have my Asiago and artichoke dip dip that I get from Walmart. I like to have it with my vegetables. And that is going to be my supper tonight. The brownies should be done in about three minutes. Then I'm gonna let them cool and then we will give those a taste. Supper was absolutely delicious. That mousse was so, so good. It tastes, I would say mousse probably tastes the most like beef. So it tasted ex almost exactly like a beef roast. All right, now we are gonna open up our cheese advent calendar. So let's find one. All right, this is it. It is cheddar is what it is today. So I'm gonna have that, and then I am going to cut into these two ingredient brownies and have that for dessert. All right, so it says on the recipe that this makes 12 servings, so I'm just gonna cut it into 12 servings, and then we are going to give it a try. Oh, you look wonderful. Jimmy, everybody's been missing you? I've been busy. He has been very busy. I have been explaining to everybody how busy that you've been. And you still have work to do. We still have some butchering that we need to get done this weekend. And then we're going to see Jenna next weekend. You get to see Cove. <laughs> Anything else that you need to say? Everybody has been missing you and says congratulations on your hunt. Your muley buck. I'm lost. You're just tired. <laughs> Jimmy is begged, tired. <laughs> Lost for words. All right, let's taste our two ingredient brownies. They look amazing. Texture looks perfect. Let's give them a taste. Mm. You won't believe that these are only two ingredients, you guys. Very easy to make, only take a half an hour. You can quickly whip them up for your dessert. Make sure that you give them a try. I will have the original recipe down below. Like I said, it is from uh, Low Carb Love, so make sure you go follow her. I'm sure all of you guys follow her already. She is amazing and has amazing recipes to, to share. That is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.